Sooner or later, this kind of thing was bound to happen. I often hear Trainspotting criticised for glamorising drugs and while the film is highly stylized, magnetic and thoroughly funny, not a single character is presented as anything other than reprehensible. Even the characters who are straight edge for a portion of the film are presented as detestable fools. Tommy is an ineffectual boyfriend and succumbs to the promises of a better than sex high when he turns to heroin. Begbie's actions speak for themselves, a serial instigator and something of a self-confessed nutter. Of the five main heroin users in the film, Spud may be considered the most innocent and harmless of the bunch, and while he is explicitly shown to be as much, he's still condemned to his actions throughout the film as well as suffering by consequence of association. Yeah, little dab of speed is just a ticket, mate. In one of the darkest scenes in the film, the death of an infant, even the mother, who by all accounts should beget sympathy, is still shown as morally contemptuous and mere minutes after discovering her child dead in his cot, asks Renton to cook her up a round of smack. Trainspotting is a morbid film, but Danny Boyle was careful to present it in a way that engages the viewer. The addictive digesis of Edinburgh and Scottish brogue catches your ears. The fast and energetic camera holds your attention, but Boyle himself has said this was by design. He wanted to keep audiences in their seat while he shows the highs and the sick, dark lows of heroin abuse. It doesn't glorify heroin or drug abuse, it merely presents an unbiased case for it and spends 90 minutes dismantling the artifice constructed by Renton through shock and excitement. I think to confuse Danny Boyle's keen stylistic approach and Irvin Welsh's frenetic dialogue and sense of place is at once doing the viewer a disservice, as well as undermining the creative forces driving the film. <laughs> 